What is the difference? Is a booster dose just a third shot? Is it the same thing? It is. Yeah, it's the third shot of um, and same amount of vaccine in the shot. And, and does it matter which one it is? So the, the recommendations for third shot are the same as the second shot. If the same vaccine is available that you had the previous two shots in, then that would be, um, then that vaccine should be the one that's taken. If it's not readily available, then uh, the other mRNA product would be recommended. Uh, at all of our clinics, both mRNA vaccines are available. Uh, so uh, the same vaccine really can be used for that third dose. Okay, I'm hoping I can get just get one more question because the first one was clarification and then I'll go back in the lineup. Um, so this is for specific groups, but do you know how many more they might have to get? Like at first it was two doses. We wouldn't need third. Now all of a sudden we need third. Is there expected to be a fourth or a fifth? Yeah, um, good questions, Jessica. Um, and I keep hoping someone's going to mail me a crystal ball. Um, really what we're seeing is a response to ongoing data that's being, um, I guess, analyzed as vaccine rollout continues. So this is real-time policy changes based on emerging evidence. So as we, since Pfizer and Moderna were uh, first implemented, uh, there's various studies that have continued to measure immune response uh, after the first dose, after the second dose. And in these two groups in particular, so individuals with immune compromising conditions, what the, the data had demonstrated was that they didn't mount the same uh, level of immune response as other individuals. Hence, this third dose um, was recommended based on emerging data to boost up that immune response further. With regards to the, uh, the older population in long-term care homes that are at higher risk of outbreaks in these settings, what the initial data was demonstrating that while they did have a good immune response, it was decreasing over time. So uh, the, the data really indicating that a third dose in this setting, based on the risks and benefits, um, would help to further protect uh, against uh, uh, the Delta variant and COVID-19 in the fall. We very well could see um, recommendations regarding booster doses or third doses for other populations. I know that the Provincial Vaccine Clinical Advisory Group is continuing to monitor data that is coming out of multiple trials and multiple studies um, along the both the immediate immune response and the long-term immune response, how long it lasts for. Uh, so I don't think we should be surprised uh, with some ongoing policy changes around that. 